Welcome to BSc Statistics students. Uh, in this class, uh, I explain test for two means problems uh, in the test for two means. So I start problem number one. Uh, first of all, first of all, we have to check whether it is one sample test or two sample test by reading the problem. Read the problem. The means of two large samples, it is very clear. The means of two large samples of 1000 and 2000 members are 67.5 and 68 inches respectively. That is uh, two random samples of sizes 1000 and 2000 are drawn. That is, it is a problem of two sample test. It is a problem of two sample test and can the samples be regarded as drawn from the same population with the standard deviation 2.5 inches. So the data is given the two large samples that is n1 is equal to 1000 and n2 is equal to 2000. Members are 67.5 inches which means uh, the means of these two samples are 67.5 inches that is x bar is equal to 67.5 and 68 inches respectively that is y bar is equal to 68 x bar 67.5 it is of 1000 sample size 1000 members and y bar is 68 it is of mean of the 2000 members second sample so n1 n2 x bar y bar which are given here that is the first sentence now the question in the problem the question is the can the samples be regarded as drawn from the same population whether it is drawn from the same population with uh, the standard deviation 2.5 inches that means that means sigma is equal to 2 points population standard deviation sigma is equal to 2.5 inches now the question is whether the sample or samples are drawn from the same population or not. That is uh, the null hypothesis we can consider the two samples have drawn from the same population H0 mu1 is equal to mu2 and uh, we can consider the alternative hypothesis no they are not drawn from the same population the two samples have not drawn from the same population that is uh, H1 mu, mu1 not equal to mu2 that is two tile test because not equal to two tile test. So null and alternative hypothesis are decided with this particular sentence. Can the samples be regarded as drawn from the same population? Of course, later on with the standard deviation 2.5 is given. That is, uh, these are the samples have been drawn from the same population with the standard deviation 2.5. And no, it is not drawn from the same population with the standard deviation 2.5. So these are the null and alternative hypothesis. And what is the case here? There are two cases in test for two means. Because means are specified, means are specified. And therefore, uh, we have to consider it is a test of test for means. Two sample test for means, right? So therefore, here in this problem in the two uh, sample means or two means test two means test procedure we have two cases case one sigma one is equal to sigma two is equal to sigma is known case two sigma one sigma two are not known the two particular cases generally we have generally we have two particular cases and the problems case one is sigma is known case two is Sigma 1, Sigma 2 are not known. That is here, Sigma 1 is equal to Sigma 2 is equal to Sigma is equal to 2.5. Therefore, Sigma is known. It is case 1. Therefore, the test statistic under H0, test statistic under H0, Z is equal to, in the case, Sigma 1 is equal to Sigma 2 is equal to Sigma. In the case, Z is equal to X bar minus Y bar divided by Sigma into square root of 1 by N1 plus 1 by N2 is equal to x bar write all the values substitute the values and uh, calculate the z value x bar 67.5 y bar minus 68 divided by sigma 2.5 into square root of 1 by n1 
1000 plus 1 by n2, 2000 is equal to, well, calculate the value and they will get some uh, minus 5.16. You calculate this value, whether it is right or wrong, you calculate the value. Then the fourth point is inference or comparison and conclusion. Uh, the point you have to make, first of all, you have to calculate modulus of z, that is 5.16 and then uh, modulus of z is and uh, z alpha, actually you have to write z alpha because we are not writing z alpha because of the reason that another way of comparison and conclusion for more than 3, calculated value is more than 3, we always reject h naught. You see that is the point we are writing here, that is the reason why z alpha is not considered tabulated value, significant value is not considered because j modulus of z is greater than 3, this is greater than 3, therefore modulus of z, if modulus of z is greater than 3, h0 is always rejected, that is uh, the 2, h0 is rejected which means h1 is accepted, what is h1, the two samples have not drawn from the same population, that is two samples have not come from the same population, that is our conclusion, hope you understand, thank you, thank you very much.